So next let me add the sections to my model as for that I'll go to properties click on section properties I'll click on add so here you have list of sections to choose from first is the DB user database user so you have different wide variety of sections like I T solid rectangle all these sections suppose I've selected I so DB uh, you can select the code and all the built up sections comes down so here you can select any section so automatically the values would be updated and would be used in the model and next we have the values tab so if you have any stiffness values you can directly enter those values so the software will take these values for the calculations and steel reinforced concrete sections combined sections if you have then you have the PSE tab so you have one cell n cell i and t sections this is for the PSE sections and next you have the tapered section non prismatic sections so you can enter at i at the end what's the section and at the j at the end what would be the section and you can choose the tapering whether it be linear or cubic so next is the composite section that we're going to use in this model so you have different uh, composite sections like steel box steel i concrete uh, composite psci so all the sections so you can have the composite general also if you have any irregular composite section so you can import from SPC like AutoCAD and to the SPC and from there to the model and then the steel girder so for for now I'll go to composite tab I'll give the name as girder so I'll be adding this section which I've shown you previously the girder section so I'll select composite I based on this dimensions I'll give the values to form my section give PC as 3 meters 0.25 and I'll click on symmetry I'll give this values accordingly So you can see our section is formed so I'll select material from database for my composite action for concrete material for slab I'll select PSRC and give the grade as C30 for my concrete slab similarly for girder I'll select C40 I'll click OK so all the density ratios and the modular ratio poisons ratio would be automatically updated I'll give the offset so I'll change the offset to center top so I can display the offset point so the distance between the blue and this red point would come up zero that means that the section gets offset it so I'll click OK not the element would be offset but the section gets offset so I'll click OK then I'll click apply so you can see the girder section has been added to the list next I'll add my end diaphragm section for that I'll go to DB user tab so I'll give the section name as end diaphragm I'll select solid rectangle from here so as I want to give the values I'll click on user give the H as 1.4 and B as 0.4 you can see this section so I'll change the offset to center top so I want to give the vertical offset to accommodate my slab thickness above this diaphragm so I'll click on vertical offset user give the value as 0.25 and extreme fiber and click on display offset so this is my offset point so I'll click OK click apply next I'll change the name to internal diaphragm change the speed to 0.3 I'll maintain the same offset this offset point I'll click apply so meanwhile you can click on this show calculation results so these are all the values the calculations the stiffnesses so you can refer the help manual for the all these details and the nomenclatures so this is with respect to this section the area shear areas moment of inertia 
click close next I'll change the name to pier I'll select solid rectangle solid round give the diameter as 1.5 change the offset to center center click OK so I'll click apply now I'll add my pier cap mid section So these are the sections that we are adding. This is for the shaft and this is for the center section of the pier cap. These are the tapering parts. So I'll go back to the model to give this dimensions. I'll give the pier cap mid. I'll select solid rectangle. So 1.6. Change the offset to center top again. can display the offset point click OK then apply next we're gonna add the tapering part of the pier cap so I'll go to taper section so I'll select solid rectangle give the name as pier cap taper suppose so I'll give H as 1.8 and B as 1.6 and at the J at the end I'll give as 1.2 and 1.6 so you can see the sections so I'll uh, keep this the tapering part as linear and Z axis variation as linear these are Y and Z axis variations change the offset to center top click OK and I'll click apply to add my taper section to the list next I'll add my dummy cross beams so I'll go to DB user, change the name to dummy cross beams, select solid rectangle, give the dimensions as 0.25 and that does 1 meter. So 0.25 is my slab thickness. So I'll maintain the center top offset. I'll click apply. Then I'll add the dummy crash barrier section change the name I'll change this B2.25 and I'll click OK so this is how we add different sections in Midas Civil so we have completed till the sections I'll click close